A lot of people ask us why we do these sort of things, why we hunt for food, why we build shelters. I think self-reliance is kind of looked at as almost a game to a lot of people, but it's really a lot more than that. You know, it's, it's not about the challenge. It's not, well, sure, sure we, we all like a good challenge, but it's not about that. It's not about proving that we can stay out here, that we can survive in the woods. It's, it's really a lot more than that. It's about connecting with nature the way so many before us did. It's about connecting with our forefathers. Just look at this gorgeous terrain out here. It's such a beautiful area. This is this is why we come out at like five in the morning. It's so quiet. It's so uh, serene. It almost makes you forget that it's like five degrees outside. <sighs> yeah, we've been out here for about ten minutes. My lips are already trapped. It's important to stay hydrated when you're out in the woods, especially in the winter, you're not gonna feel as encouraged to drink because you're not gonna have the heat of the sun really beating down on you. We were hiking along the river here and we came across a spillaway zone. It's almost like a pond formed inland and it's gonna be an easy place for us to access the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole in the ice and we'll fill up. All right, we got through the ice. Looks like it's about a foot thick. We got water. We're gonna go ahead and fill our canteens, fill up our bottles. And this is definitely gonna have to be purified, whether it's sent through some sort of filter or best case scenario, boiled. All right, I've been out here collecting cattail, which is a very common plant that grows around almost all types of body of water. And the heads on these, as you can see, fuzz up quite a bit, make a big pile of fuzz, which is good for a flash tinder, which means that it'll take a spark from a ferro rod or an ember really, really nicely, but it only burns for a few seconds. So it basically just replaces a, uh, a lighter, per se. So you can use this to light a more non-marginal tinder, something that's a little bit damp, and it'll light that up nice and easy. And also, in the right seasons, you can actually eat the roots on cattails, but we're not gonna be able to get at it through the frozen ground here. So I'm gonna collect a little bit of this for some tinder in case we need it. All right, the weather out here is no joke right now. It's probably 10 degrees, it's really cold, and fire is gonna be crucial tonight. Our plan is to do a bow drill fire, and that's gonna consist of four parts to make the bow drill set. The hearth board, the spindle, the bow, and the bearing block. We've got some fallen oak here, and this is gonna be great for the bearing block because we need a hard wood. All right, that'll be a good piece. This should work just fine for us. Uh, it's gonna do a basic uh, deadfall setup, nothing fancy. There's a bit of a game trail that kind of funnels through underneath these branches, so hopefully we'll have some luck here. All right, there we go. All right, this is the juniper tree. This is a very useful tree when you're out in the woods. Uh, the needles are really high in vitamin C, so you can make tea out of them, and it'll kind of help rejuvenate your body. Uh, the bark is very, uh, very stringy, so it'll make good tinder. And also, this is going to help us complete our bow drill set. It's a soft wood, so we're going to use it to complete the spindle and the hearth board. Nice, flat piece. All right, so we think we're gonna set up camp here tonight. It's a uh, bit of a denser area of the forest, which is good. Uh, we chose this because um, it's been pretty windy. It provides some cover. And uh, with the sun popping out every once in a while, being out in the open, the snow is really blinding because it really reflects the sun. Definitely. So, so uh, essentially this is gonna be kind of a lean-to style shelter. We're not gonna be using any cordage. It's all gonna be uh, notching and lap joinery. So uh, it should be interesting. We're gonna get started on it right now. All right, so we got the two main supports done for the shelter. This is essentially two lap joints that are fit together. We kind of chiseled it away with the ax. They fit together, and we got a support holding it up just for safety. Cool. 
All right, so we got the board drill kit set up. We got a uh, hearth board, a spindle, bearing block out of that piece of oak we cut, and the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go and see if we can get a fire going. When you're out here hiking and camping in the woods, practicing bushcraft, especially in the winter when there's snow on the ground, you're bound to get wet and it's important to have a wool outer layer. Yeah, Brad and I made these anoraks or boreal coats out of wool to help keep us nice and warm. Uh, when wool gets wet, it'll trap your heat on like cotton, which will draw it away from you. So it's important to have a wool outer layer. All right, we're scouting around camp right now, and a lot of this area is hunting lands, and there's a lot of uh, hunters that are coming by by snow machine on these trails around here. And uh, this is uh, this is dinner for us. We just uh, we just found this, and uh, we were hiking through this morning actually, and there's no sign of any of this. We would have seen it. So this must have been hit by a snow machine in the last five hours tops, and uh, it's a good size coon here. No terrible damage it seems it's frozen solid I mean this thing is as stiff as a board and uh, that just goes to show how cold it is out here but uh, we're gonna go ahead and thaw it out we'll clean it up skin it and see uh, what the meat looks like make sure nothing is tainted and uh, this should be good for us All right, so our, our water's boiling now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this off the fire so we can throw the meat in there. Got the raccoon all skinned out. Uh, only using the meat that we need tonight. Anything else is gonna be coming home with us. All right, get this lid off. Boil this meat up. Definitely don't want to eat raw meat, especially from a raccoon. bread carved here oh yeah we cut it into small chunks so it would hopefully cook faster so that's cooked up pretty nice hopefully it's good from my experience raccoon meat hasn't been bad so not, not bad it's a little tough but it's tough meat when I open that up yeah let's let's get into this oh, yeah, sure. smells good Very tough. Definitely not bad. It's really not bad at all. Yeah, that was worth it. Um, oh yeah. We're gonna get calories back today. We did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna be turning in for the night. It's uh, definitely feeling. We're definitely feeling the cold right now. But uh, hopefully the shelter keeps us warm. And. Uh, We'll see you in the morning. All right, it's uh, pretty early in the morning right now. The sun's just coming up and uh, definitely feeling the cold. It's extremely cold, but uh, 
we stay pretty well insulated in the shelter here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get out get a fire going I think we can blow our old coals up into flame and uh, we'll get some tea on and then pack up and get out of here Got a pot of water boiled. Right in there. Take some of the juniper leaves we gathered earlier. Just stuff them right in there. All right, I've had this juniper in here for a while now. The water is no longer clear. It's pretty cloudy. I'll throw that in the fire. And uh, a little bit of ash in here, but that's not going to hurt anything. See how it tastes. That's good. Juniper tea is uh, it's very strong. Um, it can be a little bitter at times, but uh, you know it definitely gives you a boost of energy. And um, you know, having this, having the shelter and the fire, it's just like luxury out here. You know, this is what we love doing. And uh, that shelter was definitely a lifesaver last night. You know, without shelter in uh, in this temperature, um, you know, you're not gonna have a good time. You're gonna die out here from the cold before you would dehydration. Gotta make sure you get a nice shelter, nice insulation, and. Uh, yeah, we didn't do bad last night. It was pretty warm. Okay, stayed dry. It's snowing a little bit. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but yeah, it's just thriving out here. Ever since we were young, our dad's been taking us out on canoeing trips, fishing trips, hiking, and camping, and uh, that's sort of what has imprinted this love for the outdoors that Brad and I have held on to all these years, and I don't think we're ever gonna let go of. No, definitely. Um... Our dad really taught us to be true outdoorsmen, to respect nature, respect wildlife, and uh, it's, it's what's led us to practicing primitive living and self-reliant skills. And um, we're, we're happy to have this knowledge. We, we definitely feel, feel stronger being out here in the natural world. Snow is really starting to come down right now, pretty heavy flakes. Yeah, it is. We should probably pack up and get out of here. I guess so.